Okay. Okay, guys. So, before this, we stop until here. Okay. So, it's either you want to use this one as your YS or this one as your YS. So, as for me, I want to choose this one. Okay. So, now you have your YS is equals to x squared minus 4s plus 5 over s minus 1 s minus 2 squared. Okay, so the inverse of this one is equals to inverse of this one. s squared minus 4s plus 5 over s minus 1 s minus 2 squared. Okay, so here you need to apply partial fraction. So as you can see here, this is a linear factor and this is repeated linear factor. Okay, so your partial fraction will be so x squared minus 4s plus 5 over s minus 1 s minus 2 squared is equal to so, A over S minus 1 plus B over S minus 2 plus C over S minus 2 squared. So, stop when you have the same power. Okay. So, now you need to find the value of A, B and C. So, by comparing left hand side with your right hand side. So you will have s squared minus 4s plus 5 is equal to so a so the missing term while comparing left hand side with your right hand side so the missing function is s minus 2 squared plus b so this one you need to multiply by s minus 1 and also s minus 2. Why this one you have? Because this one is just 1. What you have here is 2. So that's why you need another one. Okay. And the last one is plus c s minus 1. So please be careful. Expand the whole expression here. Okay. So you will have a so s squared minus 4s plus 4 plus b so I just factorize b first so you will have s squared minus 2s minus 1 will be minus 3s plus 2 plus cs minus c so expand this one will give you a s squared minus 4as plus 4a plus b s squared minus 3bs plus 2b plus cs minus c. So now, by comparing left hand side with your right hand side, okay, so the first equation will be this one, this one. So you will have a plus b is equals to 1. The coefficient of s squared here is 1. So now for variable s1, so variable s. So you have this one, this one, and also this one. So you will have negative 4a minus 3b plus c is equal to negative 4. And the last one for s0, which is for constant, so you have 4a, 2b, and minus c. Okay. So you will have 4a plus 2b minus c is equal to 5. So now use your calculator to get the value of the unknown.
equation unknown 3. So the first equation will be 1, 1, 0, and 1. The second one is negative 4, negative 3, 1, and negative 4. Sorry. And the last one is 4, 2, negative 1, 5. So let me check again. 1, 1, 0, and 1, negative 4, negative 3, 1, and negative 4. And the last one is 4, 2, negative 1, and 5. So you will have your A is equals to 2. Your B is equals to negative 1. And your C is equals to 1. Okay. So instead of finding this inverse, so now we just have to find the inverse of this function. So therefore, your yt is equals to, so the first constant is 2. So you will have 2 inverse of 1 over s minus 1. Minus 1 inverse of 1 over s minus 2 plus 1 inverse of 1 over s minus 2 squared. So, as you can see here, you don't have any problem with this one and this one, but this function, you cannot find the inverse of this one directly from the table. Why? Because you have the whole thing squared here. So, if you cannot find directly from the table, again, you need to use properties of inverse Laplace transform. So, uh, it is possible to have, uh, it is possible when we need to use more than one properties to solve the problem. Although you already use partial fraction, okay, but here you need to use first shift. So, it's okay. Sometimes it happens. Okay, so. This one you need to use for shift. Why? Because you have for the denominator part is s minus a power 2, which is n is equals to 2. Okay? So therefore, your yt is equals to 2 exponent t minus exponent 2t plus, so I hope you still remember. And how to use first shift inverse. So when you have s minus 2 here, so you need to have the exponential term. So exponent 2t. So when you have the exponent function, so s minus a need to be replaced by s. Okay. So you will have 1 over s squared. 1 over s squared is equals to t. So therefore, you will have 2 exponent t minus exponent 2t plus t exponent 2 exit. So that's why it's really, really important for you guys to really understand the properties that we had learned before. Either properties of Laplace or properties of inverse Laplace transform. If not, you are going to have a big problem when you are going to solve first order or second order. Okay, so we are done with first order. So please make sure you 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 go through back uh, each example and try to do the exercise that I give you in your notes. Okay, so now we are going to proceed with uh, second order. Okay, the the only difference is just. Uh, the first part okay the next next one will be the same as you solve first order okay so we try to solve the first example so let's say you have so now for second order Linear differential equation. Okay. So let's say you have y double prime 
minus 4y prime is equal to 8 exponent 2p. And you are given a condition y0 is equal to 0. y0 is equal to 0. And another one is y prime 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So why this is second order? Because the highest power is 2. Okay. When, when involved with second order, then you will have two conditions. Okay. So it's just the same steps. So the first one is by applying Laplace transform for both sides. So Laplace of y double prime minus 4 Laplace of y prime is equal to so it is a constant so factorize so Laplace of exponent 2 t okay so now you have y double prime so Laplace of y double prime is equal to the whole function the whole expression here or you can also look Take a look at your table of Laplace transform. It's just the same. Okay. So therefore, Laplace of y double prime is equal to s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero minus four. So be careful. Please use bracket. Okay. Because Laplace of y prime is equal to s y s minus y zero without this bracket you might make mistake okay so the whole expression here is equals to a over s minus two okay so expand first will give you s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime 0 minus 4s y s minus minus will give you plus 4 y 0 is equals to 8 s minus 2 okay so the second step is to apply the conditions given to you so the conditions given to you is y 0 is equals to 0 y prime 0 is equal to 0. So therefore, this one is equal to 0, so you can cancel up. This one is also 0, so you can cancel up. And this one is also 0. Multiply by 4 will give you 0. So you end up with only y s. Okay. So you will have s squared y s minus 4 s y s is equals to 8 over s minus 2. So therefore, your y s s squared minus 4 s is equals to 8 over s minus 2. So therefore, your y s is equals to 8 over s minus 2 s squared minus 4 s so as you can see here again you need to apply partial fraction and student might ask um, can I just conclude uh, every time from ys to get yt we need to use partial fraction no okay it depends on your problem okay sometimes it's just a direct from the table you need you don't need any any properties okay so now you need to use partial fraction and as you can see here you have a quadratic function s squared minus 4s so can you factorize this one yes you can so if you can factorize then please factorize for you to avoid using a s plus b okay so step number four, you need to find the inverse of y s, and on your left hand side you need to find the inverse of eight over s minus two s squared minus four s. Okay, 
So solve for this one first. So 8 over s minus 2 s squared minus 4s. So as you can see, you have s here and also s here. So you can factorize s. So you will have 8 over so s minus 2. So factorize s. So now it's become s minus 4. Okay. So if you expand this one, you will have s squared minus 4x. Okay. But now you need to find the partial fraction of this one. So this is a linear factor. So you will have a over s minus 2 plus b over s plus c over s minus 4. Okay. So, comparing left hand side with your right hand side, so A need to multiply by S, this one and this one, so I just write S squared minus 4S. Plus B, so you already have S, so you need another two term, which is S minus 4, uh, sorry, S minus 2, S minus 4. Plus C, so C, you already have this one, so you just need S, S minus 2. So expand, will give you A S squared minus 4 A S plus B. So expand this one first, S squared. So minus 4 minus 2 will give you minus 6 S plus 8 plus c s squared minus 2 c s okay so this one is equals to a s squared minus 4 a s plus b s squared minus 6 b s plus 8 b plus c s squared minus 2 c s so factorize everything to the variable so you will have a plus B plus C S squared plus the second one is negative 4 A minus 6 B minus 2 C S plus so the only constant here is A B okay so form 3 equation so A plus B plus C is equals to 0 Negative 4a minus 6b minus 2c is equals to 0. And the last one is 8b is equals to 8. Okay. So by using your calculator, equation, so your unknown is 3. So the first equation will be 1, 1, 1 and 0. The second one is negative 4, negative 6, negative 2. 2 and 0 and the last one a equals to 0 b equals to 8 c is equals to 0 and d is equals to 8 so therefore your a is equals to negative 2 your b is equals to 1 and your c is equals to 1 okay so last one so yt is equals to, so this is a constant, so you can factorize. So negative 2, so inverse of 1 over s minus 2 plus inverse of 1 over s plus inverse of 1 over s minus 4. So this one directly from the table, so therefore your yt is equals to negative 2 exponent 2t plus 1 plus exponent 4t. That's it. Okay. So, that is how to solve a, a second order. So, the first example, easy one. So let's try to do the last example. Okay, so I, I shall 
uh, show to you the last example in the next video because it will take a long time. Okay, so see you in my next video. Thank you.